Toronto Raptors head coach Darko Ryakovic went viral last night after the Raptors dropped 131-132 in a highly controversial game against the Los Angeles Lakers in which crew chief Ben Taylor led what feels like an 8-on-5 assault on the Raptors. There were plenty of controversial calls and no calls. Scotty Barnes attacking the rim while he's clearly fouled and not getting an and one. Emmanuel quickly gets called for his sixth foul on a common rip through, which, add insult to injury, was upgraded to a flagrant foul. Last year, Fred Van Vliet went nuts on Ben Taylor for his horrendous officiating and collected a hefty fine for it. Fine. I'll take a fine. I don't really care. I thought, you know, um, Ben Taylor was fucking terrible tonight. Speaking of Darkos, some years ago, after a controversial whistle, former second overall pick Darko Milicic went a bit too far with the three officials in what has become one of the most viral post-game interviews of all time. Indeed, scour the web and you will find no shortage of coaches losing their minds at what they feel was an uneven whistle. But Darko Ryakovic went fully into his bag and pulled out a rant that set the world on fire. First, a quick word from our sponsor. The Pendance Film Festival is happening February 22nd to 25th. It is a celebration of international films. It is a brilliant film festival in its seventh season. Prior to the COVID pandemic, it was the fastest growing film festival in the world. What is my affiliation with Pendance? What are they paying me to say this? Well, I am Pendance. I'm the festival director and founder of Pendance. It is my baby. And if you love great films, if you have a film lover in your life, this is a worthwhile event for you happening in downtown Toronto at the Carlton Cinema, uh, February 22nd to 25th. Make sure to check us out. Link is in the description below for tickets and passes. Tickets will go on sale soon. Passes are already on sale. Let's get to this. Thank you, Doug. Thank you, Doug. That's 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 outrageous. What happened tonight? This is completely BS. This is shame. Shame for the referees, shame for the league to allow this. 23 free throws for them, and we get two free throws in the, in the fourth quarter. Like, how to play the game. I, all, I understand uh, respect for all stars and all of that, but we have star players on our team as well. How's possible is Scotty Barnes, who is all-star caliber player in this league, he goes every single time to the rim with force and trying to get get uh, to, to the rim without flopping and, and not trying to get foul calls. He gets two uh, free throws for the whole game. How is that possible? How are you going to explain that, that, that to me? They had to win tonight? If that's, if that's the case, just let us know so we don't show up for the game. Just give them a win. But that, that was not fair tonight. And this is not happening first time for us. Scotty Barnes is going to be all-star. He's going to be the face of this league. And what, what's happening over here during whole season, I've been holding it back. It's a complete crap. You see, like, get any no, no, there is no explanation. They just, they just come up there, they review what, and they see what they want to see. They don't want to hear us what we got to say. They don't want to hear the players. They, 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 they don't just want to protect us. Over the game, they got 36 free throws, 23 free throws in, in the fourth quarter. What are we talking about? What are we talking about? How are we gonna supposed to play? It's happening a lot, but I'm telling our guys, be professional, keep fighting, keep going for the next one. But until when? For how long? Well, not everyone was thrilled. Evan Turner decided to use the opportunity to make fun of the Serbian head coach's accent, and LeBron James just thought it wasn't that big a deal. Their coach was absolutely I read about the fourth quarter discrepancy in free throws, 23 to two. I felt like they fouled and we didn't. Implicit bias and xenophobia aside, there's always been a bit of a stigma about Europeans in the NBA. Soft, not tough, shying away from contact, and it's something almost every European who plays in the United States goes through. Well, Darko earned his stripes tonight. Not only from Raptor fans who are super proud of a coach standing up so passionately for his team and take what is sure to be a very hefty fine, but also from his players who clearly felt the disrespect by the refs last night in what was a really close game where the Raptors played well enough despite starting 63-year-old assistant coach Thaddeus Young at center in place of the injured Jakob Pertl. Thaddeus Young also offered his thoughts after the game. I just says that you know, um, you know, he's all for us. You know, he's all for us as a as a family, as a team. Um, you know, we're always going to stick together. 
um, you know, we're always going to be behind one another, and he's always been behind us since day one coming in here. Um, he's going to continue to fight for us, and you know, we love Darko to death. Um, you know, we uh, we definitely thank the world of coaching, and we appreciate you know him you know going to bat for us. The most underrated part of Darko's extended and certainly viral rant that is making all the rounds on Twitter and YouTube this morning is that he didn't make it about himself. He basically took a $50,000 fine to make the single largest all-star ad for Scotty Barnes, declaring him not only an all-star caliber player, but also the future face of the NBA. I didn't think anyone in the world was as high on Scotty's upside as I was, but Darko might be right there with me. For Scotty, this is a huge boost of confidence. For the team, this is a settling thought that a man asking you to sacrifice every night is someone who actually has your back. Darko has always maintained and restated multiple times that he doesn't want to make things about himself. He's a selfless coach who is breathing swagger and confidence into a team that has lacked it for years. He's pushing fight back into a team that Pat Beverly infamously said had no dogs. He's teaching them how to fight, how to win, on and off the court. And guess what? He finally has a couple of dogs on his team. Make sure to hit the like on this video and let me know if you thought Darko was right to go off. Certainly, his referencing free throw discrepancy when the Raptors intentionally fouled the Lakers many times down the stretch isn't completely fair and might be easy to pick apart. However, it is worth stating that there have been many close games like Sacramento and Chicago where the last two minute report has shown egregious mistakes by referees cost the Raptors the game. And for a team that is fighting for their play in lives, losing so many heartbreakers at the buzzer with a tilted whistle might have been a little too much to bear. I'm curious to see how the Raptors respond with a 24 hour turnaround to face off against the better LA team, the Clippers. After Darko's rant, I'm sure more eyeballs will be on the Raptors as well. Thankfully, if the team wanted a reason to fight hard today, their head coach just gave them one. If you're a true Raptor diehard and you're looking for a place to go after every single game, make sure to join our community, hit subscribe. We do post game lives after every single game, 600, 700, 800 people. We had 500 people at 2 a.m. last night, just chilling, talking. It's a one of one type of show. We take your call-ins, you can hear from fans, you can get my analysis on it. Make sure to hit subscribe, peace.